Good morning. My last video I realized that the GoPro, I guess it's just a directional mic. If you're behind the camera, you feel like a waffly mess the whole time. So I'm learning, I'm learning as we go. So today, uh, one of my good buddies uh, from the band Ailstorm is in town. So I'm gonna go to Orlando and pick him up, show him some Florida man shit. I think we're gonna go to Gatorland first. He's never been, uh, it's a fantastic place. So we're gonna go to Gatorland first, and then maybe SeaWorld. <laughs> we'll try uh, Lucky take number two for SeaWorld and see how it goes. But yeah, let's go to iDrive and uh, get the boy, and then we'll be off. And every weekend, open the free iHeart app, search iHeart 80s, and start listening now. iHeart Radio, free, never sounded so good. Lose weight with semaglutide available in either shots or tablets at Red Mountain Weight Loss. <laughs> made it to world famous Gatorland. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Picked up Gareth's first time here. Best Never been. Time. You excited? Very much so. <laughs> you can see lots of gators. Hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Clues in the name. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be uh, the entrance to the park back in the day, but sometimes buildings and fires don't get along too well and they had to kind of rebuild. <laughs> But yeah, got here before park opening, so got a few more minutes and we'll go inside. All right, got today's show times. Nice rubber. Down. That one out there is a big boy. God damn. This is definitely the park where you don't want to put your child on your shoulders <laughs> or let him sit on the railing. Hey, buddy. You're a big boy. So back in the old days of Gatorland, this right here used to be the original train track, but it's been abandoned for a while. They moved it. It goes kind of on the perimeter of the park now, but when I was a kid, came right on through here. I believe this is also where you got on. Anyone else remember that? That bird's got a lot of trust in that gator. <laughs> So back here at the, the cougar enclosure, back in the day, this used to be where they did the snake demonstrations. It was a pit and there was a walkway all the way around it. If you remember that, hell yeah. It was a pit, they would do, they would bring out the boxes with the snakes and do the shows right here. Good times. I know, buddy. Same. Responsible if they fall in the water, neither. Seventy-five years of Gatorland. Al Gator Capital. Hell yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What do we got here? Now that's adorable. Whoa. Nice. Sir, what are you doing? You ain't white, and you ain't white either. This is why you don't let your kids sit on the railing. Don't worry, you got all these nice boys down there to catch them. Man, they all think I have food right now. Yep, they think yep. you are food right yep. now. The Nile Croc I was talking about is up there on the island. That's the one. Okay. Massive. We got some more crocs over here.
the bravest birds on the planet. That is a big boy. Yeah, wow. Of course he's not gonna do it anymore. This thing's gotta be 12, 13 feet. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, we got a decent amount of people. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I need you to put both your hands out just like this. Actually, which one of these do you write with? Oh. Hey, it's not, not, it's a, not snake. a snake, right? And a big round of applause! If there's something really cute and cuddly in this box, will you come down and hold it? I'm down. Now back you to be though, right? Kelly, come on down. Oh, no, 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 no. Kelly, Kelly, stay there. Stay there. It is. Right. Good job. This is known as an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, guys. The largest rattlesnake species in the world and the largest venomous snake we actually have here in North America. Now we're just waiting for the Jumperoo show. We're here to get these gators jumping, but not for any old reason. Because behind me, I got two of the bravest, or quite possibly the dumbest guys I've ever met in my life. Compete for a job right here at Gatorland. Jump, jump, go, 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 go! Y'all want to see these animals move? You gotta get loud! That was quick. Give it up for Coop Library, guys! Crocodile. The bravest birds around. We're gonna go check out the marsh area over here. Walk around there a little bit and then uh, probably make our way over to SeaWorld. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's go see some gators. Yeah. Getting the real Florida man experience today. <laughs> Man, this area has changed so much over the years. Kind of like that place we went to. Yeah, the Black Bear Trail. It's just as hot. Yes. <laughs> Shall we? Where is this? Should we uh, we're go the, to... For a second, you're about to open up, put your hand in there like, mm, chips. Mm, <laughs> yummy. Blood. Yeah, we got the chow. Making our way to the marsh. The marsh walk. And I love the name Pearl. Just just like the movie Pearl. And I heard a pooping noise and it turned off. It's crazy. Crazy bellowing gators. Second largest living crocodilian. Take down a hippo. Jesus Christ. Big boy. Got it. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great show, Queen Hawk in the World, and you missed it. Yeah. Oh, got it. Oh, you missed it. Oh, you blew it. He'll find it. There he goes. Good boy. The bravest birds in the world is hanging out. <laughs> God, I didn't even notice these yeah, ones. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's 
you can have one too, you're a big boy. Um, you can have one as well. So nice. Sorry. Whoa. Yeah. Who's gonna get it oh, first? Listen, I love, look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> you can have one too. Oh. Shoot. Missed it. How'd you miss that? Get it. Get it. There you go. All right, before we head out, we're gonna try to catch uh, the last little bit of the, the gator wrestling show. Just like sharks. Alligators are constantly losing teeth. Alligators can go anywhere between two to three thousand teeth in their entire lifetime. Oh, I'm done with that. Here I'm on the back, here again, Thunderous! So, what do you reckon of Gatorland? I like it. It's very fun. Very good value for money. <sighs> Trying to pre-game for SeaWorld. I haven't been here in probably two years. Uh, it's his first time. Getting the European perspective on all this Florida man stuff. The security cars. It's awesome. I left Gatorland. My phone's going off. Just got to SeaWorld. Met up with our our old buddy Fedge. Here with Gareth. That was cool. I'm gonna do some roller coasters and hopefully a, a better experience than last week at SeaWorld. Hardly anybody here, which is fantastic. Should be fun. We're in. Fuck yeah. First time at SeaWorld. Yep. Fuck yeah, dude. You gonna feed a stingray? Sure. I remember back in the day when you used to just be able to walk this whole thing and put your arms in, yeah. pet the dolphins. Now you can't do that anymore, you gotta pay extra for it. All because some lady got her ring taken off and some kid got bit yeah. by a dolphin. We gotta ruin everything. journey to Atlantis as I was sitting down on the ride I guess it got pressed against the lap bar and cracked the screen gotta get a new phone oh really yeah so in peace all right I think it's like a tropical turtle hurricane something turtle hurricane I got I think on my last video for SeaWorld I mentioned that this building used to be a circus show back in the day but it turns out they still do something like that. I'm surprised. 
My opinion of SeaWorld today has been a lot better since last week. It's definitely not as busy and the clientele is actually quite pleasant today. Or maybe I'm just tipsy and my phone's broken and I just don't care anymore. Yeah, apparently this is a problem in Florida. They, they uh, had a competition to capture them. Yeah, you had a whole fucker fried or I'm talking this. That was delicious by the way. It's definitely less crowded than last week, so this is a very pleasant experience. It may just be tipsy. It doesn't smell like a wet dog either. See you real. You may have changed my mind. I may not cancel my pass, but it could be this hurricane saving the day. Fucking poison man. How you doing? I'm oh, good, man. Thank you very much, dude. It's great. Oh, no, baby, or is that? I'm sorry. So sick. Thank you. I'm Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely way better than last week, but then again, it could be the drinks helping. I know I said that earlier, but I'll say it again. I'm kind of long fishing, all fishing helping. No, it's like they're sensitive to like frequencies. This one on Mako. Mako when you're a little a little tipsy is a fantastic option. But yeah, uh, apparently they close half of the park when it gets close to closing time, which is weird. But I guess closing one half of the park two hours early is how they operate here at SeaWorld. It's weird. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go catch the Orca Encounter. definitely not the same as it used to be. It's kind of depressing, but you get wet. So I guess that's cool. And so now that I'm still very tipsy, it's time to give my uh, review of this second trip to SeaWorld. So in my last video, I said it was like the child of uh, Six Flags and Magical Midway. That still stands, but I think it's now the equivalent of Spirit Airlines if Spirit Airlines was a theme park. Cause God damn it. So one little Powerade, $7.49. Even Mr. Mouse doesn't like to bend me over that much. But I get it now, because SeaWorld's the cheapest park, but it's a Spirit Airlines of theme park. So the cheap price, when you get in, ho ho, you got a bag, you got a carry-on, we'll get you with the extra price. That's how it is with their uh, food and drinks and everything else, so. I may have had a better overall time, but still getting bent over. Finally got home. Fun way home. I guess SeaWorld heard all the shit I was talking and uh, they decided to bend me over one more time. And I was puking my brains out in my truck on I 4 <laughs> heading home. So, got here, shower changed. Here's Jackie. <laughs> We're gonna go, uh, go back and meet up with Gareth and Fetch at uh, this place down in good old Mount Dora, Florida any of you ever been down there before it's a nice little downtown area but figured since uh we have a european with us we should go get uh some european food so it's a fun little place called the magical meat boutique it should be fun so that's where we're heading now and she's driving because i've had enough enough driving with puke in my lap on the way home so <laughs> just finished dinner didn't really film too much because Kind of rid the film and eat that place is good it's called the magical meat yeah, magical meat boutique so if any of you are in the central florida area we highly recommend it I'm gonna walk around a little bit with everybody and we're gonna call it a night so if you watch the whole thing thank you as always and uh 
Have a good night.